Hello, sweeties. So today, I want to show you what I'm doing for fitness planning in 2019. And last year, in 2018, I kind of had a fitness section in my in my planner, but I decided that that wasn't good enough. So I wanted to go out and get an actual fitness planner. This Mhm. Mm Cuz you're in here messing with them. Mhm. Mm so that was Millie anyway, getting getting my dogs all riled up. Um so the one that I decided on was this one. This is a happy planner. Um, <coughs> Day Day, please stop. And this came in like a little kit and it had these sticky notes. Hey, you guys. These sticky notes. You guys, please stop. All these stickers. All these stickers. Day day boo. Liz. Um, the this pocket was something that I had previously purchased um, when I was using a happy planner for all of my planning. Um, so let me move this out of the way for just a second until we are ready to talk about that. So I'm just going to kind of flip through here and show you guys. Hey, these, these dogs today. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is paper that was from my old happy planner. Um, it has a place to do 12 month progress checks for your weight and your measurements and things like that. And then it's divided into 12 months. So it's undated. You can start at any time you want. I started in December actually. So it has a month on two page. I don't decorate it a lot. I just want to keep it simple. And I, you know me, I usually keep my stuff pretty simple. I don't go crazy, crazy with the stickers. Um, but each of these is a workout that I did. So I'm counting up to a thousand workouts. If you guys didn't know that you can check my work on Instagram. I am candy K on YT over there. Um, so there's that month on two page with a space for notes. And then Basically, this is like a food tracker. This down here is where you're supposed to keep track of your exercise, and there is not enough space for me to do that. So I am using this for my food, um, my meals, my things like that. Um, it also does have a space down here for water tracking, which I'm so bad at using. Over here, it has a weekly goal section, a little space for notes. So this was December. This was our cruise, which I didn't track anything. So there's that. And on the back, Right here at the end of the month, they have a space where you can like check up on how you think you did for the month, the month, how was I successful? How do I feel? What didn't go so well? What motivates me? What can I do differently? And I give myself how many stars out of five. And then it has a place for a progress selfie. And I'll show you what I use to do that in just a minute, but let's go through January a little bit. January just started obviously we're about a week into January I have my goals laid out over here for this month a couple stickers put down I actually go back and sticker things 
in the past. I don't pre-sticker much of anything because I want all the space that I can use or that I need to like write things down and make sure I'm tracking everything I need to. So I'll go back and like stick stickers in empty spaces, basically, you know. So this was last week. I got to the gym a couple times, actually three times last week. And then this is this week. I'm working on that. This is a page marker from Happy Planner and obviously February and March, so on and so forth. They're all the same up until the end. What I do, again, because um, especially for the fitness, the exercise, like I was saying, there's not enough space here to write down what I do. And what I do for that is I use one of these little field books that I bought. It is not the Field Notes brand, um, but it didn't really like need to be. It's those little three by five, I think they are. Um, yeah, little three by five notebooks. I just have them lined, and what I'll do is go in and like every day that I'm in the gym, I will write down the date. Um, what I'm working and like right here, this is LWHR, low weights, high reps. So I write down my chest press, tricep press, shoulder press, row and rear delt fly. And then here I'll do like, um, I did 20 reps, 10 pounds, 20 reps, 15 pounds, 20 reps, 15 pounds. So I'll do that, um, to keep track of what I do for like, um, lifting weights and then here I did cardio and I just go through like that every time I'm in the gym because I really like to know what I'm doing and what progress I'm making this way I can look back and this was in September and I was doing you know a 20 pound tri tricep press a 10 pound shoulder press um, and see how I progress you know I like to keep track of things like that I don't like to go into the gym um, all willy-nilly not really knowing so yeah so that's what I do to keep track of my workouts and this is always in my gym bag so my pen my field book and that's that so what I do for the progress picture, the progress selfie, this was today actually that I took it and I use my Canon selfie, which you guys, I love. It's so easy to use and I'll actually see if I can print one off for you. So it's actually just like an app. Um, let me see. see it's an app right here Canon print and I have this loaded up with these small card size photos right now but they it also does like a 4 by 6 size photo um, so let me see I have my little photos that I took today. Um, I don't want to show you guys anything, anything naughty. <laughs> How about I just do another, I'll do the back side. So you just, let me see. This is what the app itself looks like when you open it up. Photo print, document print, scan, your little settings and stuff. So you click over to photo print and you click whatever photo you want to take. I'll do this one. And you click next. 
hopefully it's still set up because I had some trouble with it earlier. I find that it does cut a little bit off like from the top of the photo. So see now the printer itself says that it's busy. This says that it's printing. It's got a little spinning wheel. And at first, when I first used this, I thought it was broken because the photo came out yellow. Let's see. And then it goes back in, and then it does like the red, pinks. And then it does like the blue. And then it does like, I don't know, white? I don't know what it's doing. And it's done. So it's wet. They both have the four by six and the card size. They do both have, um, like, what do I want to say? Oh, little grippies on the side. So you can take your photo out and not touch the actual photo until it's dry. Um, but see how it cuts off a little bit from the actual photo. Let me pull up the actual photo. So this is the actual photo that I took this morning. The actual photo that I took this morning. And then this is the photo that actually prints out of it. And it does like cut off a little bit from it, from the top and bottom. I don't really find that that bothers me. If it does, I know that there's adjustments you can make to the photos and different things that you can do, but it doesn't really bother me. I'm not that finicky, so it doesn't, I don't really concern myself with it. So the cool thing about these little card size photos is they're stickers. So you just legit peel it off the backing and you can stick it anywhere. How's that? Should we do another one? I think I have space for one more. Let's do one more. <coughs> Excuse me. Boo boo is so rude. So again, you open up your app, go to photo prints, and we'll do a side style pick. We'll do a side style pick. So I chose that one. It comes up with a little check mark. Click next and print. Boo boo, please take your chewy off my photo printer. Take your chewy over here, please. Thank you. So it's printing again. You can see that it's busy. It's Wi-Fi. It's talking to my phone right now. And it is Wi-Fi, so you can hook it up straight to your phone. And you can print wirelessly. See? I'm not connected. I've had this, actually, for a couple of years now. And I love this thing. I print pictures all the time. I have a photo that I printed today of Biggie, and I printed this one obviously earlier and this one. So it's done, and it says on the phone, printing status is completed. You click OK, and then it'll take you back to your photos in case you want to print more. I'm not going to print more. I'm going to peel this one off, and so there is my side view for this update. I'm basically using these as my 2019 progress, beginning progress. So let me see if I can stick it. I don't think I stuck it very good. 
it's overlapping a little bit, but it's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Not for me anyway. I'm still good to go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video talking about how I'm tracking fitness for 2019. If you guys are also on a fitness journey, how are you tracking fitness? I would love to hear your comments down below. Um, I would love to hear what you're doing and I will link you to everything that I can link you to on Amazon. You guys, I always have my, my EDC things linked in my description box below my favorite things linked down there for you guys to check out. So please do that. And I hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.